Welcome to online classes of Malabar Engineering College. Okay, today I am going to take on subject Machine Design 2 which comes under 4S6 Automobile. Okay, here let's familiarize with the design problem based for cylinder. Okay, what is meant by cylinder? While we take an engine block, the one of the important components is a cylinder. Is through the cylinder the piston moves inside an engine. And there is an important part known as cylinder lining. The space that provides between the cylinder and the piston is the cylinder lining. Is through the cylinder lining the piston moves each time to and fro. So it is an important fact that we need to design it properly for the proper performance of an engine. Okay, here let's see the problem based on the cylinder. Okay, here is a question. First, the cylinder for a four-stroke diesel engine. The engine used is for four-stroke diesel engine. Uh, has a following specification. It has brake power 5 kilowatt, speed 600 rpm, and indicated mean effective pressure of 0.5 megapascal. And here we need to calculate the diameter and length of the cylinder liner. Okay. We need to calculate the diameter of the cylinder as well as the cylinder liner, the length of the cylinder liner. These two quantities we need to be measured. Okay, here first we have write the given data. First we have brake power which is 5 kilowatt. For calculation purpose we convert the 5 kilowatt to watt. It's like 5000 watt. Uh, then we have the speed. The speed is given as 600 rpm and we write n is equal to 600 rpm and we have the indicated mean effective pressure that is 0.5 mega pascal okay we have the indicated uh, mean effective pressure and we convert this effective mega pascal to newton per mm square since it's a kind of a force okay it's for the calculation purpose okay this much data are given in the question and there are some assumptions we have to be made by doing this problem the first assumption is that the mechanical efficiency we know for any mechanical devices, the maximum efficiency we can get is 80%. Here it's not given the question, but we need to assume it's like 80% and we write new. This efficiency is 80%, so new is equal to 0.8 and we find the indicated power. We know indicated power is equal to brake power divided by efficiency. And we have the brake power as 5000 watt divided by 0 0.5, 0 0.8 and we have the indicated power as 6250 watts that's the indicated power we calculate then we assume the stroke length by cylinder diameter is 1 by 5 ratio it's always like that the ratio is always 1 by 5 and we have that 1 by 5 that is we can return an equation like 1 is to 5 and we have the area, area is uh, calculated by the area of cross section, it's calculated by the equation pi d raised to d square by 4 and we have length like stroke length is equal to 1.5 d by 1000. We need to convert this all equation to in the terms of d, diameter, so that it will be easier for you to calculate the diameter of the cylinder. For that we need to convert each and every equation to terms of diameter then we have n small n is the speed of speed divided by half the speed like we have the speed as like 600 rpm 600 divided by 2 that is 300 stroke per minute then we know the equation to calculate the indicated horsepower indicated horsepower is like uh, pm lan by 60 and we know pm pm is uh, we know is 0.5 and L, L we have calculated, uh, we substitute directly to this equation and A, A pi d square by 4 that we substitute directly then N, N we have 300 and by substituting this we get the value of diameter of the cylinder the diameter of the cylinder is about 128.5 and we need to round the figure and we get around 130 mm that is the diameter of the cylinder and we need to find the the cylinder lining okay the length of the cylinder lining is given by lc is equal to 1.5 d that we get from here so lc is equal to 1.5 d and by substituting the value that like 130 into 1.5 and it's 195 mm so the value we get is like for the cylinder the diameter is like 
uh, 130 mm and the length of the cylinder lining is 195 mm and that's how we calculate the value for the cylinder by this i conclude today's class thank you